Shalom. This week we are reading Parshat Mishpatim, beginning in Shemot, Chaf Aleph, the book of Exodus, chapter 21. Just last week we read Parshat Yitro, the giving of the Torah, the Sinai revelation, this ultimate spiritual experience that was shared by the entire people of Israel. Our sages tell us about the awesome, wondrous, spiritual level of prophecy that was attained by the entire people. Even the common folk were totally overwhelmed by this very strong and clear conception of the true reality of the unity of the Almighty. They heard the voice of God. The heavens literally opened up. It was an incredible experience. And now, in Parshat Mishpatim, we're making some sort of extreme transition. We are now reading about a whole variety of laws and ordinances that govern everyday life. Real nitty-gritty type of things, societal laws, laws about relationships, about people, about communities, all sorts of things having to do really with some situations that are also not necessarily that pleasant, all sorts of contingencies and variables. So we might look at this and feel some sort of contradiction or let down or something, something strange about this transition from having stood at Mount Sinai, hearing the voice of God, understanding really that perhaps the physical level is not true reality, but only some sort of way station, some sort of state, understanding that God is infinite and understanding really the potential of what eternity is all about. And now this week in Parshat Mishpatim, we are faced with everyday life, with halachot, in fact, a, a, a very large amount of the Torah's laws concerning everyday life contained in Parshat Mishpatim, all sorts of things that govern over our everyday life. But you know, the secret to understanding this kind of cataclysmic transition between Yitro and Mishpatim can be found in a verse in the book of Psalms 147, Verse 19, where we read, Magid devarav liyakov chukav umishpatav liyisrael, that Hashem told over His word to Jacob and His ordinances and His laws to Israel. The fact is, the word of God, the Ten Commandments, is rooted in the Holy of Holies. It's the will of God Himself. And so is every aspect of our lives, also governed by the Torah, even on a mundane level, or what we might perceive to be a mundane level of everyday life. But the real fact is, according to the Torah, when we uplift every aspect of our lives, when every aspect of our existence is governed by the mishpatim, the ordinances of Hashem, that is, this aspect of the Word of God, was also given at Sinai, this is actually the very foundation of the Torah. Because after all, Hashem's word is truth. And that is really what is emphasized by that verse. And when we navigate through every situation in our lives by the rules of the Torah, in essence what we are really doing is we are providing a dwelling place for the presence of God in this world. And as we have learned previously, Midrash Tanchuma tells us that the very purpose of creation was for Hashem to be able to create a dwelling place for Himself in this world as well. And that is really what we accomplish by keeping all of the laws of the Torah in this world. And our sages tell us that this is the very purpose of existence, this co concept of Ratzah Kadosh Baruch Hu Dira B'Tachtonim, that God sought, as it were, a dwelling place down here below. And just as the Ten Commandments and all of the central and core concepts of the Torah were given at Sinai, so also every aspect of our lives comes from the, the will of God. Our sages tell us that the seal of Hashem is truth. And one might ask, how can Hashem have an abode if His very seal is truth and His very essence is eternal truth? How can He have an abode in this world that's a world of illusion and a world of falsehood? But the concept is that this is the very reason why the Holy One, Blessed Be He, gave us the Torah and gave us, for example, Parshat Mishpatim. Because when we elevate our existence by living in this very world, which is a world of falsehood, 
But when we conduct ourselves according to the principles of Hashem, the principles of truth, then we truly are able to accommodate for Him and create for Him an abode in this world.